Yeah, I heard word around town is a popping now. Hey yo, what is up everybody? It is the King Hitman here, and we have another Dokkan battle video. We are going to be talking about who? Wow, you I it's about time that they started dropping these massive celebration units. We are here to talk about Gamma 1 and 2. Kodo, thank you so much for giving us these letters and these producer addresses and videos because I remember points in Dokkan where we just had no idea what the hell was going on. And I'm not just talking about timelines, I'm talking about issues in the game that they wouldn't address, like things like calendar issues or in-game issues, maybe it was an issue with a banner, like they just wouldn't address us. And now that we have Kodo, the Supreme Lord of Dokkan, we can do these things, we understand what's going on, at least somewhat they address these things, they literally talk about these things. Let's start off by, well, the point of the video is Gamma 1 and 2 right here i'm gonna pause the video i do have it muted because i heard twitter i heard youtube is weird with the copyrights and i the kid hasn't had a massive copyright strike i don't play with him all right so we have it muted right now dope uh gamma one and two i'm expecting gamma one to be scr gamma two to be agl i do think they will both be super class units i do not at all see them being portrayed as the villains in dokkan i think as though you know they're they're at worst anti-heroes i don't want to say too much about the movie i know people as uh, certain people haven't seen the movie i don't know what how many countries ha don't have the movie released in their region yet i don't know stuff like that i don't but i'm gonna try to keep it i'm walking the line all right i'm definitely walking the line in this video so if you don't want to hear anything I would suggest you click off. I appreciate you being here regardless. But for those that do want to talk about it, I think they're both be super class. I told you their typings, their categories, they're going to be on a lot of categories. I'll talk about that in a moment. But let's just keep going through this. Now we have been told that they will both be Dokkan Fest units. We love that. That is great news. And as you can see, their individual cards, maybe they'll depend on one another. I think that would be a dope dynamic. Um, maybe sort of like how physical trunks like certain trunks units kid trunks units de uh, depend on certain kid goats in units you get what i'm saying so maybe they'll walk that type of line with one as the dynamic i don't know yet oh uh, what else there are categories i said i'll go over that in a minute oh i'm tripping they'll be on one banner so we'll become available in august of part one speak yeah they dropped that already that's stuff that's already come out we are planning to hold it around, let me make sure I read this correctly. We are planning to hold it around the end of October for Global's version after the event begins on JP. So we'll have the JP, I guess, Twitter reveal and the Twi uh, JP data download and they'll get the summons first before Global. The way that that's phrased, it seems as though that'll be a couple weeks. I don't know, maybe a couple days, maybe like two, three days. But if you were to ask me, I'd say it's like a, a week, maybe like a seven to 10 day difference. I, it didn't make it sound like there was anything indicating it'd be a real short difference, especially considering what's weird is Pan and, and Goku, Kid Goku, that just dropped on JP and Global, dropped it the same night. So I don't know what the timeline difference would cause with that. I know Global is getting the carnival banner for Fasha and Chilai as I'm recording this in about three and a half, four days from now. I don't know what if that's the reason they're going to delay it a little bit. I don't know if they have something else up their sleeve for global. But it is weird that, well, 7 to 10 days. Yeah, I overrated it. Yeah, it'll be a, a 2 or 3 day. Let me read this one more time. I definitely overshot it. It should be yeah, end of October. It's got to be like maybe four at most four or five days at most four or five days i completely overreacted so yeah a couple of days will be the difference because the dokkan fest banners for kid goku and pan will end around the same time jp is going to get it first and and global will still get it before i think global might get it on halloween or maybe a day before but it'll be part of maybe the halloween celebration because of you know the special poses and stuff like that i could see them making it a halloween thing that'd be dope but um i think they'll both be exceptional units they will be featured on one banner according to my interpretation of this newsletter they're saying it as though they're on one banner simultaneously so 
you'll walk away with at least one of them. Me personally, I want Gamma 2 more. I think they're both going to be great. They both will have amazing super attack animations. Cell Max, as simple as he is, and he's the most daunting enemy in the game, he's actually really dope. Like His super attack animation, for what it is, is people aren't hype about Cell Max, right? It's really dope. I like it a lot. So I hope you guys are excited for this stuff. They'll be on certain categories. The category list they should be on. Let's see. If I go from top to bottom... Off the top of my head, artificial life forms, they should be on androids. I do consider them and well, they are considered androids, right? They might this is a sneaker. People haven't really peeped this one, but they might be on time limit. If you've watched the movie, you understand why certain ones will be on categories, the other ones won't. I won't say which is which, but like maybe full power and uh final trump card, stuff like that. What else am I thinking of? They won't be on transformation boost. I said full power. They won't be on joint forces because it's their individual. I always figured when a Gamma 1 and 2 dropped, there would be a Dokkan Fest that was on joint forces. That's not what we're getting here, which I'm fine with. But uh, movie heroes, I do think they will be on movie heroes and not movie bosses. The only big bad bosses units in Dokkan, Dokkan's history that are TURs to have big bad bosses is this Android 21. That's the only super class unit to ever have big bad bosses that's above SR. And the SRs are these Vegetas from, from, I don't even know why this guy has it. It never made sense in all of the game's years. It never made sense. Maybe they were trying to figure out what exactly that link meant. I don't know. They didn't want to say Vegeta was a full good guy. Like they, I guess the point of the link was just people who had done bad things or people who had represented the end of an arc as a villain. I don't know. Who, who knows, man? Sort of like what they did with Battle of Fate. But uh, yeah, artificial life forms, I said already, they will not be on movie bosses if you were to ask me. They might be on target Goku. I want them to be on target Goku just because that category getting buffed is never a bad thing. I think certain ones, I think I said final trump card already. Yeah, certain ones will be on final trump card. Certain ones, I said certain, yeah, yeah, I know what I mean. You guys know what I mean when I say certain ones. But neither of them will be on revenge, if you ask. Yeah, I don't think, I don't think they'll be on revenge. Nah, special pose, both of them will for sure be on. Well, Nah, they'll both be on special pose. They'll both be on there, right? They're just so fly. Yo, the Gammas are fly. Like, if you've watched the movie and you didn't like the Gammas, I completely disagree with you. Like, your opinion's out the window. The Gammas were hard, man. I like the, those characters. I, I really enjoyed their dynamic, right? They're just funny. They were they were great. They had great choreography in the movie. They had dope move sets. I really like what they did. Saviors. Ooh certain one is are gonna be certain gammas they're gonna be on saviors oh, i think so i could see that y'all know what i mean y'all know what i mean i could see them being on battle of wits yeah they have a lot of categories that could come their way without saying too much well Maybe, maybe Miraculous Awakening and Powerful Comeback. I could see that. Uh, nah, take away Powerful Comeback. I, I might take that away. What else? Like I said, time limit is an option people don't seem to be considering. I think Bond of Friendship is not going to happen, but that would be nice. Just because they're like, they're like brothers in a way. But let me not overthink that. Accelerated Battle is one I think they should be on. I think that both of them should be on Accelerated Battle. I think that's just a good thing. Entrusted Will? Nah. Entrusted Will? Uh, nah. That one's too, a little too direct. You can tell, like exactly why characters are on that category so no i'd say stay away from that i don't think so at all they will both be on battle of fate and i guess that's all i got for y'all all right now hope you guys enjoyed the video i don't want to go too deep into it i just i'm excited so i went on a ramble i tried not to spoil too much if i sounded weird at certain points in the video it's because i wanted to say something but i knew people would react we are at that point now though they're dropping major, major, super hype Dokkan Fest level units and above soon on. I expect them to drop 
Beast Gohan and Orange Piccolo before the anniversary because ah, I think the timeline is just if you wait till after the anniversary, that's just weird. That's just bizarre. That's waiting way too long unless Toei really has a stick, bro. Let's say I have a stick up there, man. There's just no way they're gonna make them wait that long. So I think Orange Gohan and Beast Piccolo will be coming sometime soon. The story event it has been getting updated. The story event. For the Gohan unit, the SSR Gohan, I do think that SSR free-to-play Gohan will awaken into uh, a Super Saiyan Gohan sometimes uh, during this celebration. What else do I have on my mind? <laughs> There's so much because now that they're officially dropping them, right, just as summonable units, which yes, they needed to be summonable. Hell no, they did not need to be free to play. There was it was so unlikely that they were going to be elite free to play units, especially if they were TURs. If they were an LR free to play Gamma One and Two, I could see them being great. But nah, I, I don't even want to play around with it. Just make them summonable. Make them Dokkan Fest. We will see them every once in a while in the near future on separate banners and stuff like that. It's dope. I expect them both to be great. Now, I know he's going to get mad at this. I'm hoping he sees this just because his account is hilarious. But uh, I think these guys are going to be a lot better than physical Raditz. <laughs> know that Raditz Defender account is out there somewhere. It's I like that account so much. It makes me laugh. But yeah, I... <laughs> Physical Raditz is an anomaly. The only other unit off the top of my head that is close to Physical Raditz in terms of how bizarre they were compared to the landscape of the game is Tech Super Saiyan 3 Broly. Like, those are the only two. That's it. So I'll leave it there. Hope you guys enjoyed. I enjoyed making it for you. It's the young kid. Superhero content on the way. I'm off this, man.